Welcome back to my channel, where we rip apart the mysteries of human history with jaw-dropping revelations. I'm your host, and today we're tackling the ultimate enigma, the Great Pyramid of Giza. For 4,500 years, we've been taught that Pharaoh Khufu, 4th Dynasty ruler, built this architectural titan. But my investigation has uncovered a bombshell. The carbon dates for Khufu don't match what's being taught. Could history be hiding a massive secret? Today, I'm breaking down four compelling evidence-based reasons why Khufu might not have built the Great Pyramid, including a deep dive into those shocking carbon dating results. If you're ready to question everything, smash that button right now. Hit subscribe and ring that bell to join our legion of truth seekers. Let's unravel this mystery. Reason number one. The construction timeline is a logistical nightmare. Egyptologists claim Khufu built the Great Pyramid during his 23-year reign, from 2589 to 2566 BC, based on records from Herodotus and Manito. We're talking 2.3 million stone blocks averaging 2.5 tonnes, some with granite monoliths in the king's chamber hitting 80 tonnes. To pull this off, Workers would have needed to quarry, transport, and place 800 tons of stone daily, one block every five seconds, using soft copper tools and Nile barges to move granite 500 miles from Aswan. But here's the catch. The Turin King List, an ancient Egyptian papyrus, suggests Kufa rain might have been as short as 10 years for major projects. 10 years to build this. That's pushing the limits of possibility. Some scholars, like geologist Robert Schock, argue the pyramid could predate Khufu, built by a pre-dynastic culture and later repurposed. Does this timeline hold up? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Reason number two gets suspicious. The evidence tying Khufu to the Great Pyramid is shockingly thin, and some of it's dubious. You'd expect a pharaoh who built the world's greatest monument to leave his mark everywhere. Statues, inscriptions, papyri. Ramses II practically turned Egypt into his personal fan club. But Khufu, almost nothing inside the Great Pyramid points to him. The only direct link is a single cartouche, Khufu's royal name, in the relieving chambers above the king's chamber, found in 1837 by Colonel Howard Weiss. It reads Knum Kuf, a variant of Khufu's name. But here's the twist. Researchers like Zachariah Sitchin question its authenticity. The red ochre paint looks oddly modern and Weiss, desperate for a blockbuster find, used explosives to access the chambers, raising tampering suspicions. No other definitive Khufu markings exist. No statues, no stelae, just vague mentions in the West Car Papyrus. Was Khufu taking credit for someone else's work? Comment below, forgery or fact? Reason number three will leave you speechless. The Great Pyramid's engineering is so advanced, it challenges what Khufu's fourth dynasty could achieve. This isn't a pile of rocks, it's a geometric marvel. The base is level to within half an inch across 13 acres. The sides aligned to true north with a 1 in 15th degree accuracy. The granite blocks in the king's chamber, some 80 tons, are cut so precisely you can't slip a razor blade between them. Egyptologists say this was done with copper chisels and manpower, but copper is soft, barely able to scratch granite. Engineers like Christopher Dunn suggest advanced techniques, possibly lost technologies like acoustic or mechanical tools. The pyramid's dimensions encode pi and the golden ratio, concepts not documented in Egypt until later. Its geometric placement of Giza even correlates with the speed of light in Earth's coordinates. And the air shafts? They target Orion and Cirrus with uncanny precision, hinting at advanced astronomy. Was this a pre-Egyptian project, as Robert Boval suggests? Tell me in the comments, ancient tech or Khufu's genius? Reason number four is the bombshell my investigation uncovered. Carbon dating results don't match the Khufu timeline we're taught. 
Mainstream archaeology places the Great Pyramid's construction between 2589 and 2566 BC during Khufu's reign, but radiocarbon dating of organic materials like wood, charcoal, and mortar from the pyramid's core tells a different story. Studies, including the 1984 Jedi Project and later analyses in the 1990s, found dates ranging from 3100 to 2900 BC, some centuries before Khufu's supposed reign. These samples, taken from deep within the pyramid structure, suggest construction could predate the 4th dynasty. For example, charcoal from mortar in the upper courses returned dates of around 3050 BC, potentially aligning with pre-dynastic or early dynastic cultures. Egyptologists argue these could be from reused materials but that's a stretch. Why would Khufu's builders use centuries-old wood? The precision of radiocarbon dating, with a margin of error of about plus minus 50 years, makes these results hard to dismiss. Could the pyramid have been built by an earlier civilization, with Khufu merely restoring or claiming it? This evidence flips history on its head. What's your take? Tell me in the comments. There you have it, truth seekers. Four earth-shattering reasons to question whether Khufu built the Great Pyramid. A timeline that defies logistics. Scant evidence with a questionable cartouche. Engineering too advanced for the 4th Dynasty. And carbon dating that places construction centuries before Khufu. My investigation suggests that the Great Pyramid could be a relic of a lost civilization, repurposed by Khufu to cement his legacy. The truth is out there and we're just beginning to uncover it. If this mystery has you hooked, smash that like button, subscribe and hit the bell to join our quest for answers. Drop your theories below. What's your take on the Great Pyramid? And stay inquisitive.